The 7th Sea Trial of Fujian Aircraft Carrier, Background and Global Focus Asterisk Asterisk. The 7th Sea Trial of the Fujian Aircraft Carrier. Electromagnetic Catapult and J-35 Integration Test. How China's carrier technology is redefining the rules? Since its launch in June 2022, the Fujian Type 003 aircraft carrier has undergone multiple sea trials. Each trial has attracted global attention, with the seventh sea trial garnering even more interest. This trial not only signifies a new level of technical maturity for the Fujian but also represents another significant breakthrough in China's carrier technology. The Fujian has garnered so much attention not just because it is the world's first conventionally powered carrier equipped with an electromagnetic catapult system but also because it showcases China's latest achievements in military technology. As the Fujian moves towards operational deployment, it will significantly enhance the Chinese Navy's ability to conduct long-range operations and alter the military balance in the Western Pacific region. In response to heightened international scrutiny, a spokesperson for China's Ministry of National Defense once remarked, we maintain a calm attitude toward the development of the Fujian. This seemingly simple statement carries multiple layers of meaning. Firstly, calmness reflects the government's confidence in its technological capabilities. Secondly, it conveys an open and transparent stance, indicating China's willingness to share its military advancements with other nations. Finally, calmness also underscores China's consistent commitment to peaceful development in international affairs. Globally, the focus on the Fujian primarily centers around two aspects, the technological breakthroughs of the electromagnetic catapult system and the impact of the Fujian on the strategic landscape of the Western Pacific. These points of interest not only highlight the international community's emphasis on China's military development but also reveal new trends in global military competition. One of the standout features of the Fujian is its MALs, which offers significant advantages over traditional steam catapult systems. First, MOLs is far more efficient. Traditional steam catapults require large amounts of steam to launch aircraft, whereas MOLs uses powerful currents to generate magnetic fields, achieving efficient energy conversion. According to public data, MOLs can achieve energy conversion efficiencies exceeding 80%, compared to about 50% for steam catapults. Secondly, MOLs has lower maintenance costs due to its simpler structure, reducing the number of complex mechanical components. This makes daily maintenance and upkeep easier. Additionally, MOLs can be flexibly adjusted according to different aircraft types, ensuring optimal performance during each takeoff. In contrast, steam catapults require frequent adjustments and calibrations, making them operationally complex and prone to failures. The MOLs on the Fujian incorporate several innovations. For example, it employs an advanced power management system that monitors and regulates power supply in real-time, ensuring stability and safety during launches. Furthermore, the system includes intelligent controls that automatically adjust launch parameters based on different flight missions, further enhancing operational efficiency. During compatibility testing with the J-35 fighter jet, the MOLs performed exceptionally well. The J-35, as a new generation stealth fighter, boasts superior stealth and maneuverability. However, achieving seamless integration between the carrier-based aircraft and the MOLs is no small feat to ensure the J-35 could operate smoothly from the Fujian. Researchers conducted numerous simulation tests and tackled various technical challenges. Specifically, during compatibility testing, researchers used computer simulation models to analyze the J-35's takeoff process, optimizing key parameters such as launch force and acceleration. Subsequently, they conducted multiple actual flight tests to validate and refine these technical metrics. Ultimately, the J-35 successfully completed its first MOLs assisted takeoff from the Fujian, demonstrating excellent compatibility. Stealth performance is one of the most notable features of the J-35. To achieve high-level stealth, the J-35 utilizes various advanced technologies. Firstly, its aerodynamic design minimizes radar cross-section by carefully shaping the fuselage surface. Secondly, the J-35 uses new composite materials that are lightweight yet robust, effectively absorbing and scattering radar waves, further reducing detection probability. Additionally, the J-35 is equipped with advanced electronic warfare equipment, including jammers and decoy launchers, enabling it to maintain stealth in complex electromagnetic environments. According to public information, the J-35's radar cross-section RCS, is an order of magnitude lower than that of existing fifth-generation fighters, making it nearly undetectable by current radar systems. 
This means it will have stronger survivability and strike capabilities in future air combat scenarios. Despite its impressive stealth capabilities, the J-35 faces new challenges when integrated with the MALs. High acceleration from MALs imposes higher structural demands on the carrier-based aircraft. To address this issue, the R&D team optimized the J-35's airframe design, enhancing the shock resistance of critical areas. For instance, high-strength alloys were used in the nose landing gear and tail sections to prevent deformation or damage during launches. Moreover, high-frequency vibrations from MALs can affect the aircraft's electronic systems. To mitigate this, the J-35 is equipped with advanced damping devices and shielding systems that effectively isolate external vibrations and electromagnetic interference, ensuring normal system operation. Extensive ground simulation tests were also conducted to verify and improve related technologies, ensuring safe takeoffs and landings for every J-35 from the Fujian. The US Ford-class carriers, currently the most advanced nuclear-powered carriers globally, have faced numerous challenges during development. The Ford-class's MALs has reliability issues, leading to multiple delays in commissioning. Similarly, the Advanced Arresting Gear AAG, system has encountered similar problems, frequently malfunctioning and severely impacting the carrier's operational capability. In contrast, China's Fujian adopted a different technical approach. By combining conventional propulsion with MALs, this design not only reduces construction costs but also enhances system reliability and ease of maintenance. Moreover, the development of MALs for the Fujian drew on both domestic and international expertise, avoiding some of the technical hurdles faced by the Ford class. The generational advancement in MALs technology is not merely a technical improvement but holds significant strategic implications. Firstly, MALs significantly boosts carrier combat effectiveness by precisely controlling launch forces and accelerations, ensuring all types of carrier-based aircraft can take off quickly, thereby increasing sortie rates. Secondly, the flexibility and adaptability of MALs better meet diverse operational needs in the future. From a strategic perspective, the MALs technology on the Fujian marks an important step in the modernization of the Chinese Navy. It not only enhances the Navy's long-range operational capabilities but also provides a solid technological foundation for future carrier battle groups. Additionally, the widespread application of MALs technology will drive progress in related fields like new materials and energy sources, promoting overall defense industry development. Imagine if cars could use electromagnetic catapult systems to instantly accelerate to high speeds, how cool would that be? While real-world MALS technology is far more complex, the success of the Fujian shows we're getting closer to realizing such futuristic visions. With a maximum operational radius of approximately 1,500 kilometers, the Fujian can cover the entire first island chain and parts of the second island chain. This means the Fujian can not only execute defensive missions near China's coastlines but also conduct long-range operations in the Western Pacific. Particularly in disputed waters like the South China Sea and East China Sea, the presence of the Fujian greatly enhances the Chinese Navy's strategic deterrence capabilities, effectively deterring potential provocations. Furthermore, the J-35 stealth fighters carried by the Fujian will extend its operational range. With a maximum range exceeding 3,000 kilometers and support from aerial refueling, the J-35 can undertake remote strike missions. Thus, the Fujian can not only protect national waters but also support allies or participate in international peacekeeping operations, becoming a vital force for regional peace. The commissioning of the Fujian signals a historic transition from near-sea defense to far-sea protection for the Chinese Navy. Over the past few decades, the primary mission of the Chinese Navy was to safeguard the nation's coastal lines. Now, with expanding national interests, the Navy must develop stronger long-range operational capabilities to address increasingly complex international situations. To achieve this transition, China has increased investment in developing large vessels such as carriers, destroyers, and submarines. Besides the Fujian, China is actively advancing the development of subsequent domestically produced carriers, aiming to form a substantial carrier battle group within the next few years. Additionally, the Chinese Navy has strengthened military exchanges in cooperation with neighboring countries, participating in joint exercises and humanitarian relief operations, thus fostering a positive international image. As MALS technology matures, concerns about its global proliferation have grown. On one hand, MALS has broad applications beyond carriers, extending to aerospace launches and railway transportation. On the other hand, the spread of this technology may pose certain security risks, 
especially if it falls into the wrong hands and is used for illicit purposes. To address these concerns, China emphasizes international cooperation and regulation while promoting MOL's technology. By engaging in technical exchanges and collaborations with friendly nations, China aims to elevate collective technological standards. Additionally, China participates in international organizations and forums to establish and refine relevant standards and norms, ensuring the safe application of this technology. As a senior military expert put it, the Fujian is not just a technological breakthrough but also a strategic victory. This succinctly captures the significance of the Fujian. It represents China's latest achievement in military technology and highlights its responsibility in maintaining global peace and development. Looking ahead, with the formal commissioning of the Fujian and the deployment of more advanced equipment, the Chinese Navy will play an increasingly crucial role on the global stage. Let us look forward to the Fujian becoming a pivotal milestone in the Chinese Navy's journey into a new era.